what's up mammals welcome back to the channel just want to start by immediately saying thank you guys for all of the likes comments and views on the first rendition of this video it has blown up at least in terms of my channel because my uh, longest running video was my Gnosis montage from League of Legends and it had over I think 4.2k views over the course of like nine years this easily beat that in like nine days so <laughs> what's up sam so i just want to say i appreciate you guys so i decided to make an updated version that gives you not only over 100k but 200k so doubling the cargo space and i'm going to show you guys how to make it so what you want to first do is let's head no matter where you are, let's head to the soul system, which is our solar system. Then we're going to go to one of Saturn's moons, Titan. You want to land on new homestead. As soon as you get to new homestead, just immediately talk to this guy. We're not doing like a super duper change, but it, it will be a big change in the end. All right. So I've already done mine, but I'm going to show you what you are necessarily changing. So the hab stations are pretty much going to stay the same. I would actually, you know what? I'm going to take this one out and do that now. And just all you do is change that one into a uh, living quarters because it's just it just adds a bed. It's the same. Everything is just adding a bed. All right. First thing you want to do is delete all your landing gear. So if you watched the first video, you should have all of the landing gear that I think only gave you three landing thrust and maybe two hull or something like that. But it's not it was it's definitely not four and four. So this is a better bang for your buck. So just let's so let's just look at the bottom and let's see like the orientation. So you're gonna want five across for the very back row, then one up there. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, you're gonna want cut that. All right, so you're gonna want five in a row in the very back, and then another five right in front of that. And then you're gonna want one, put a box here, because I was able to fit four underneath. Then you wanna make another one, another box, and another one. Go up one row, make another uh, landing gear, another box skip this right here i mean i ran out of like modules i could put skip that so then you put another box and another landing gear then you want to put five landing gear across up that row same thing for up here except skip the one in the middle again so you're really putting four across this way at the very bottom same thing here and then just to finish it off you're going to put two in the last two sections. And then, you know, the one that goes under the cockpit. And that is the biggest change. And then, you know, I, don't forget those four cargo holes that go on the very bottom. The top layer pretty much stays the same. Oops. So, so I'm going to remove it and show you what I changed underneath. Oh, and delete your shield. You don't need it. It's, it's not integral to the ship. It's just, it's a waste of a module. That's that's just what I did. I deleted it. Uh, it was over top of like one of these. Um, and I believe last time this was even on both sides. So I just added these four. 
So I, I think I added a total of eight cargo holds. And that's all I did. And delete the shield. Those three things and you're, you are solid. You are good to go. Let me put that back. Yeah. So you need like, I think it's like 85 or 87 of the cargo holds. They really should give you like a counter. Is there not a counter? I'm telling you how many you're using. Wow, what a great feature that they missed out on. Oh, well. And there's like 30 something landing gear. Just if you follow the first video and then this one, you're, you're straight. Or maybe you just, you know, follow the first video for the build and then come back here and adjust it. And you now have a ship that has over 200 cargo. If you also have your payload maxed and you have Sam with you who also has a payload. They might add more companions with payload uh, perks. I'm not sure. But whenever you find a companion that has a payload perk, put them on your ship. You're just going to keep upping your payload. But yeah, this is a shorter video, guys. I just want to say I appreciate you for watching this one and last one. This is just an update for the Homey Depot Mark II Manager Edition. That's what I'm going to call it. So I just want to say I appreciate you guys for coming out to the uh, channel. If you can do me a favor and like, comment, subscribe, share, all of that. Give me tips, ideas. Oh, just thanks for all, also to all the people who told me about this landing gear. I, I, last time I just, I didn't know. I was just using the one on Deimos. This actually is like inf infinity times better. So shout out to all of you in the comment section of the last video. But again, just appreciate you all for coming out. Be easy.